Well, rarely does a doctor prescribe a suntan. But UV rays are helping patients who've had a transplant. New at 5, Jenna Hanford shows us a process called photophoresis. Carol Grant Hunter is winning her battle with leukemia. She got a blood marrow transplant from her sister, but the newly donated stem cells are attacking her body. It's a complication of transplantation that can occur. Photophoresis helps her body to accept the donor cells. She knows it's time for a treatment when she starts feeling sluggish. While you're having it, it, it just feels like a gentle current flowing through you. Kind of like if you do Tai Chi and you do this and you feel that energy flowing through you. And then afterwards, at first you're a little tired, um, but in a couple of hours or so, you kind of recuperate and then you feel a lot better than you did before you came in. Here's how it works. A patient's blood is pumped out and through a machine. The white blood cells are exposed to UV rays. Once those cells are returned to the body, they change how the patient responds to cancer or an organ transplant. It lessens the amount of medicine a patient must take. One of the advantages of the photophoresis is that we can then decrease the doses of the other immunosuppressive drugs that the patient is on. And all these other immunosuppressive drugs like prednisone, they have a lot of side effects. Whereas photophoresis doesn't have much, hardly any side effects. Photophoresis isn't for everyone, but it can help lung transplant patients and some skin cancer patients. Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News.